Of course, as you know, <clears throat> get the record straight, I did deliver a baby in Richmond Park. In Richmond Park. This well, is it was true, absolutely, uh, absolutely true. true. In the 60s, as Francis Smith in Zedcast, I was running one day across the park, woman under a tree having a baby. Casual. <clears throat> no, I'm having a baby. And she was Italian, I'm having a baby. I'm... I can't get right. But I used to help deliver babies as a kid when I was seven years of age in Yorkshire. Coal miner's son, you know, every... there was only one doctor, so we used to help everybody have babies. <laughs> and I got her legs wide open. I said, push, 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 push. Come on, push! Push, just come on, down. come on, come on. You would say no to that, would you? You'd just and push. eventually I got the head out, then I got the body out, and, and then I, I got the placenta, and bit off the placenta, and tied it into a knot, and then I you hit bit the... bit the umbilical cord. Oh, that's right, and yeah. tied it in a knot, and then I just... put I had my shirt off and put the baby in the shirt, and then I'd pressed her tummy to get rid of all the clots. And you knew And she was successful. And I said, come on, somebody! <laughs> and said, come on! Find an ambulance! And there's uh, people on the far away, about half a mile... Ruby, she's having a baby! Can you and imagine course, and it came laying up, there having a well, baby and Brian Blessed between your well, legs? Well, the, the baby was very smiling away, and after about an half an hour, an ambulance came and she went off, and I don't know who she is. You never met... You've no, never seen no, her no, since, no, or no. Well, we'll start the plate, if that yes. was you. If that was you. When was this, Brian? Uh, this was 1963. 63, OK, yeah. so she'd be 52, yeah. that oh, child. Yes. So if you're 52, 52, you could be... Oh, we did actually try and find them. We've had no luck, so please get in touch. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to <laughs> find We want to do, like, a Friends that Reunite. Thing. Yes, this is a very good service. Yeah, you're, you're laughing, it. but that is an amazing thing you did. I know, as I yeah. said, there's no end to no, my talents. another talent. amazing thing that you've done, which I've been reading about you, you have completed space training in Russia. And, and that means you are now a fully qualified cosmonaut, Absolutely. is that right? I am a fully... God, you've done your homework. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm 50% actor and 50% explorer. I've yeah. been Everest, North Pole, South Pole, and things like that. So uh, I, I just love... And then, but my biggest love in life is space. I believe that we're the children of stardust. And we're yearning for the stars. We need to get out there. In, and and we, we, we've got Skylon mm. in Abingdon uh, making our space planes. What and do we you got, believe is out there? Uh, well, 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 life, life, life. We'd be long out there. I mean, to get out there, new forms of Olympic, new forms of art, all on Mars and beyond. And I think, and therefore, I completed, uh, I want to <clears throat> help the Martian programme. So I said, let's make a film. Mm. Uh, and we did. And uh, I went to Moscow, did all the training there, centrifuge, uh, the Hydra, uh, MiG-29s and MiG-25s, etc., etc., up to 97,000 feet. Uh, we did all the wonderful training there. Putin was there. And then I went back uh, down to South America, to Reunion Island in the Pacific, and trained with Martian prototype suits with NASA. And now I am, at 79, a fully qualified cosmonaut. But Brian, that's... So are you... Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, that's absolutely amazing. Yeah. But a little birdie told me you got car sick this morning, so how are you going to get on in a rocket? Who told you? Who said I was How are you going to get on in a rocket? Oh, God, chin him. <laughs> no, 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 no. How could I, how could I be car sick? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> yes, I do get a bit car sick now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vulnerable. But I'm human. Yes. Of course I'm human. <laughs> and there are, I do have frailties, but not many. <laughs> you know. And, of course, that's it, I do have this sex But that's appeal. such an achievement, especially, like you said, for someone of your age. Well, I just... I, I, I'll tell you something, because I'm going to lead on to it, because we don't have much time. And that every, I have to say that everywhere I go, there are two things, I have to say. I'm Grampy Rabbit in Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig yes. is Peppa. enormous. And I'm Grampy Rabbit. You are. And every time people get near my lighthouse, my lighthouse doesn't work, and they're going to crash on the rocks, I shout, FOG! <laughs> and that stops the ships from crashing. So I'm Grampy Rabbit singing all the dark, sweet songs that I do. Let's, let's just thank, thank the Lord that it wasn't a foggy day you delivered that baby. Because <laughs> yeah, that, that baby... baby I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to stop you there because we always run but out of time. But I haven't said Gordon's alive! Say it! Oh, no, Gordon's, Gordon's alive. alive! I mean, the Prime Minister asked me to do that <laughs> a few months ago outside number 10. We'll but it's all in the book. See you, see you after, after the break. We're going to we'll carry, carry on. on.